In the Introduction to Spatial Technologies class, you'll be introduced to advanced technology such as geographic information systems, global positioning systems, and remote sensing. But what will you be doing? Out of all of the geography classes, this is the class that involves the most doing. In the class, you will apply the concepts of geographic thinking and the geographic inquiry process to do field work, collect and organize data, and analyze spatial images such as maps and aerial photographs. By the way, remote sensing means uh, using the school drone to collect data in order to make high resolution maps. Spatial technologies at PCHS is a unique class not offered anywhere else in the DSPN. The equipment that you will get to use and the skills you will learn are comparable to university courses. I've heard this from several professors and students from Brock, Ryerson, Nipissing, and Western universities. Now, one worry you might have is that it'll be too hard and you'll not learn enough GIS technology in grade nine. Don't worry, we start from the bottom and work our way up to develop your skills. The class is a technology class, so there is an emphasis on using the technology. You are taught map making concepts, how the technology works, how this technology is being used in real life and practices skills which eventually leads to a practical course project. The last time this class ran, students solved a real world problem by using our state of the art high accuracy GPS antennas to survey the trails at the DSBN Adventure Campus and used our computer lab to create professional quality maps that are used daily by the Adventure Campus staff. Did you know that Port Coburn High School is considered unique and a leader in using geospatial technology in the classroom? It is the first high school to have the Trimble Catalyst in North America, if not the world. In fact, students from Mr. Fletcher's spatial technology class have done professional level work and have presented that work to 1,100 GIS professionals at a national conference in Toronto. But don't worry about having to do that. If you have any questions about the course, feel free to email me. I'm happy to answer your questions.